A warmer and drier start to our spring hasn't been enjoyed by everyone. Local maple syrup producers say this year's weather hasn't slowed productions. And as our Scott Sheehan tells us, without more precipitation, this year's production will be below average. 19 states in the U.S. produce maple syrup, and Minnesota is the western and northernmost state to produce it. However, this year's unseasonably warm temperatures and low precipitation has slowed the amount of sap flowing through the maple trees to produce syrup. Now this year is not very good because it's just so dry out. I don't think we've had more than two inches of precipitation since the uh, early part of September. Mother Nature has to give us a little rain or snow. The syrup season runs through the beginning of March and flows through April. The ideal conditions are 25 degrees at night and mid 40s during the day. Forecast sounds temperature wise sounds good, but I don't know if we're going to get any precipitation. That 70 degrees we had, I think it was two weeks ago, we had 70. The only thing that saves us from ending the season because the ground was frozen. There was so much frost in the ground. Otherwise, I think the season would have ended before it even got started. It usually takes about 30 to 40 years for a maple tree to get to ideal size to be tapped. Once they're ready, they'll produce enough sap to be tapped for upwards of a century. We shouldn't tap anything smaller than 10 inches in diameter. And then what we usually do is start pretty low in the tree then each year we drill the next tap about six inches from the previous and we go up just a little higher so it spirals around the tree and when it gets up high enough so it's hard to work with the bags again, then it should be growing over enough so you can start in the bottom again. It takes 40 gallons of sap to produce one gallon of syrup. Nothing is added to the sap, only water is evaporated during the process. In Randall Scott Sheehan, Lakeland News. For more information about how to tour a local maple syrup farm, visit our website at lptv.org. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.